Good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you all. Today, we celebrate Super Bowl Sunday. Did you know that Super Bowl Sunday is the second largest food consumption day in the United States? Americans will consume over 30 million pounds of snacks during this day. And it's second only to Thanksgiving and the amount of food consumed. This fact was weighing heavily on the mind of a youth pastor, Brad Smith, back in 1990. He thought, man, we take this day of excess and there are so many people right here in our own community who are without food. And so he did what every good Christian should do. When something is weighing on his heart and his mind, he went to God. And before his youth group and his church gathered to celebrate the Super Bowl, they prayed. And he prayed this prayer and said, Dear God, on this day of excess, on this day of celebrating, let us be mindful of those who do not even have a bowl of soup to eat. And after that prayer, God began to work. And so Brad and his youth group and his church partnered together with other churches in the community. And that first year, they had 22 churches that raised $5,700 for food relief funds in their community. Now, fast forward to 2021, the Super Bowl, S-O-U-P-E-R, the Super Bowl of Caring, has raised over $150 million to help with food insecurities across the U.S. It's an amazing story, and it happened because Brad turned to God with this problem that he saw. And I hope that you have brought in your food and your money and your donations, um, and so we can do something. We can score a touchdown for hunger right here in Flagler County. So far, we've had a ton of donations, and we thank you so much. Um, I'm looking forward to updating you with our final number later on today, but thank you, thank you. Our scripture verse today from Isaiah reminds us of this very thing, that we trust God, that when we feel overwhelmed, when we feel a problem weighing on our hearts and our minds, we turn to God because he wants to take our burden. I'm gonna read it for you in the Message Bible, verses 27 through 31. This is Isaiah 40. Why would you ever complain, O Jacob, or whine, Israel, saying God has lost track of me? He doesn't care what happens to me. Don't you know anything? Haven't you been listening? God doesn't come and go. God lasts. He's creator of all you can see or imagine. He doesn't get tired, doesn't pause to catch his breath, and he knows everything inside and out. He energizes those who get tired. He gives fresh strength to dropouts. For even the young people tire and drop out. Young folk in their prime stumble and fall, but those who wait upon God get fresh strength. They spread their wings like eagles and soar. They run and don't get tired. They walk and don't lag behind. So today, whatever it is that is weighing on your heart, God is ready to take that burden. Give it to him and watch you soar on the wings of an eagle. Will you guys pray with me? Dear God, we come to you today weary and heavy burdened. God, we pray that you take this burden from us, whatever it is on our hearts and our minds. Relieve us and help us to watch you take this and soar with it. God, we thank you for your work here in this church, and we pray that all these food donations and monetary donations that we lay before you today, you make change happen right here in Flagler County. God, we thank you for everything you've done for us. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Well, have a wonderful week, guys. I'll look forward to seeing you and look for my update later on our grand totals. Have a great day.